Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. Welcome back to Action News now at 5 p.m. A little blue overhead, but we're also seeing clouds moving in, and I am tracking some showers for you out there this evening. Scattered showers continuing over the next couple of hours. We'll see skies clearing out later on tonight. We're mostly dry on Wednesday, and we're getting much warmer as we head through the rest of your forecast. As far as what we're seeing outside today, temperatures have topped out in the mid to high 60s for the valley. We've seen 60s to 70s in the northern mountains, 50s to 60s in the Sierra and Cascades, and mid to high 50s in the foothills. The warmer temperatures furthest to the north, and you can see temperatures sliding a little bit as we move down to the south. That's because the center of that low pressure that's still impacting northern California now down to our south. It's also kicking up those south winds a little bit right now. They've been calm for most of the day. Now we're seeing them up to 13 miles an hour out of the south and east in Red Bluff. Winds not expected to be all that substantial tonight, and then we'll see a shift to gustier winds moving through tomorrow. North winds for those northern zones, south winds for the mid valley. As far as what we're seeing this evening, you can see those showers moving back in. These are wraparound showers from that low pressure centered to our south, just off the coast of the Bay Area, a little further south than that. As far as the thunderstorms we've seen just south of Shingletown and just along the Butte and Tehama County borders where we saw those thunderstorms popping up earlier. This is remnant from that low pressure area off the coast of southern to central California. You can see another low off the coast of Los Angeles right now. Both of these tapping into that moisture plume. That's what's giving us that unstable weather right now. But as we move forward, we have low pressure or excuse me, high pressure starting to build in. That's going to be the dominant feature in your extended forecast, resulting in dry, clear and warmer conditions on the way. So as you move through your future cast tonight, we're seeing the chance for scattered showers. Not as likely heading through tomorrow. We'll see a few clouds moving through towards your afternoon. There's a slight chance for some of these showers moving back up into our region. The latest though, models projecting those showers are staying down to our south and east for tomorrow. A slight chance on Thursday early to midday as well. Not looking all that likely though. Most of the active weather is well to our south over the next several days, and we're seeing a warming trend moving in. 60s to 70s in the northern mountains tomorrow with sunny skies on the way. Mostly sunny for the Sierra with 60s to 70s as well. Foothill area is expected to see temperatures in the mid to high 40s tomorrow morning, mid 60s to low 70s for your afternoon. And then for the valley tomorrow, we're seeing temperatures in the mid to high 40s starting out today. Going to be pretty mild out there for the morning. Warm for the afternoon, 80s likely for the northern end of the valley with winds gusting up to 25, possibly 30 miles an hour out of the north. Mid valley area is expected to see south winds tomorrow. We'll see temperatures in those mid 40s for your morning, ending up in the mid to high 70s for your afternoon. South winds to around 10 miles an hour, gusts to around 25 miles an hour possible for tomorrow, but mostly dry weather in your forecast as we move forward. Getting a look ahead, we do see temperatures in the mid to high 70s for Chico Wednesday through Friday, and then high 70s to low 80s through your weekend. Easter Sunday looking very nice. Sunny skies, high 70s to low 80s expected for both Redding and Chico. Redding low 80s on Wednesday, then high 70s Thursday and Friday. Lows in the high 40s to low 50s, and then we're in those low 80s with sunny skies through your weekend. Staying warm and dry through the start of next week, and we'll be right back.